Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a full drop down menu on Shopify. If you're a beginner with Shopify and you're looking to customize your main menu display and also your footer menu display, I'll be covering how to customize your main and footer menu and also how to create drop down menus for if you have a variety of different pages in your Shopify website and also if you have a variety of different product collections that you would like to display on your menu drop downs. Let's get right into this video. To get started, I'll first be showing you how to create a new menu in your Shopify store and how to add menu links. And then I'll be showing you how to create multiple dropdowns on that menu. Afterwards, I'll be showing you how to customize the display and layout of the menu. And then I'm gonna cover how to customize your footer menu. On Shopify, I'm first gonna open my content page. Then I'm gonna click on menus. And this will show you all the different menus that you have in your Shopify store. You can choose to open and customize your current main menu or footer menu. And you can also add a new menu in case you would like to create a new one. I'm gonna click create menu to create a brand new menu. And I've just titled this new main menu. Here under menu items is where you can begin adding new menu links that lead to different pages in your website. I'm gonna click add menu item. And then under link is where you can begin adding links to the different pages in your website. First up, I'm gonna add a link to the homepage of the website. And then also here under label is where you can adjust the title appearance of that link title. When you click the check mark icon, that will officially add that menu link to your menu. I'm gonna click add menu item again, and I'll begin adding different menu links for the product collection categories. So to do this, I'm gonna start off by adding a general link, which I'm gonna then link the sublinks underneath. A way that you can do this is by adding a link to any page in your website. So I'll be adding a link to one of the product collections. I've just selected a random product collection. And under label is where I'm going to title this to represent the category of collections that I'll be featuring. So I've titled this clothing. This way customers know when they're looking at the menu that when they click on this drop down, it's going to display all of the clothing collections. So I'm going to click this check mark and then I'll show you how to begin adding these sublinks so that you can make this a drop down. I'm going to click add menu item and I'm going to insert a link to one of my product collections. I've added a link to an example dresses product collection since this falls under the clothing category. I'm gonna add this link to the main menu and then to create a dropdown, you want to hover over one of your menu links. And then when you click this icon, this will allow you to reposition the link on your main menu. I'm gonna drag it off to the right side of the screen and then I'm gonna let go of it right underneath that clothing link. And that's how to add a collection link onto the dropdown. Most likely when customers click clothing, it's just gonna show the dropdown. They won't be able to click on where it says clothing, but they will be able to click on the collections underneath to open them. Then to add a link to another clothing related collection, you just wanna click this add menu item and you can begin adding more links to other collections that are related to the clothing dropdown. And once you're finished, that is a way that you can create a dropdown for a category of products that you have. I'm gonna close this category and then I'm gonna click add menu item again and I'll be repeating similar steps to create a menu dropdown for another category of products. This category of products is gonna represent the shoes collections. And then here's how that shoes dropdown appears. And then for my next menu dropdown, I'll be adding a menu dropdown to represent the accessories category, and that'll feature the jewelry and sunglasses collections. And here's the finished appearance for the accessories dropdown. Then you can include additional page links on your main menu to lead to important pages in your website. Then you want to save your menu and in a moment i'll be showing you how to customize your website's footer menu including how to add your about us brand text to your footer bar and also how to add your logo to your footer bar but really quickly i'll be showing you how to apply this new main menu you want to go on to customize your website and once you open your website on shopify you want to click on your header bar then over here next to menu you'll be able to click replace to set a brand new menu and here i'll be selecting to display that new main menu and here is the menu display. You'll see those different links that you added to your menu. And you'll see that when customers click on one of the dropdowns, it's gonna show all those collections that you linked underneath it. And you can play around with adding multiple different links to different pages and collections in your website. When you click on this phone icon, this will allow you to take a look at your website on the mobile view. And you'll be able to open up your menu to take a look at the display on mobile. This is the display of the menu and how it can appear on a mobile device. 
Also, if you guys like the layout and style of this website you see here, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I have a variety of different Shopify theme templates designed for different types of businesses. These can help you to build your website and have a professional look and layout to display your products, services, and more without you having to spend a ton of time creating your website from scratch. In case you're not too familiar with Shopify templates, the Shopify theme will arrive in a zip file format. And when you open Shopify, then click add theme, then upload a zip file. You'll have the option to upload that website theme straight into your store and you can publish it and begin editing it and adding your products. And my Shopify templates are template bundles. So they do include installation guides with instructions and screenshots to walk you through how to install the Shopify theme into your store. And I have a wide variety of Shopify themes designed for beauty, makeup, and skincare businesses, clothing, and accessory businesses. And I also have Shopify themes for dropshipping stores and coaching businesses. Most of my Shopify template bundles also include additional templates like web banner templates, logo templates, and more. If you're looking to save the time from having to design and lay out your website from scratch, you can grab one of my Shopify themes from my website, which I will link in the description box below. Next, I'll be showing you different ways that you can customize the display and layout of your menu on your header bar. So you'll want to click on your header bar and over here under header, this is where you have a variety of editing options for how you can customize the display of your header and also the display of your menu on your header bar. So to start next to desktop logo position, this is where you can customize the display of your logo and based on which display you select, you can also adjust the appearance of your menu. So here when I select top left, that's going to position the menu closer to the left side of the screen. You can also select middle left. This can create a more narrow looking menu and you can select middle center. I've just selected top center. Then in case you need to quickly go in and edit your menu, right here where it says menu, you can click on this and then click this edit button. And this will take you to the page where you can edit your menu. Next to desktop menu type, this is where you can adjust the display of your menu on a desktop view. Right now it is currently set to drop down, but you can also choose to set it to mega menu or the drawer option. When you set it to drawer, that's gonna actually hide away your menu for in case you would like a more minimal look for your header. And then when your customers click on the three lines, it's gonna show your menu and all of the menu links. And then when they scroll down, they'll be able to see any social media links that you added. And for in case you would like to customize the display of your website's header, you could choose if you would like to apply a sticky header or not. Currently, there is no sticky header added to this website. But for an example, if you apply the always setting, this will make it so that when customers are scrolling through your website, your header will remain at the top of the website. And they also have multiple other sticky header animation options. You can adjust the color scheme settings for your website, and you can also separately adjust the color for the menu. So for example, if I apply a new menu color scheme, you'll notice that if you click on a menu dropdown, that color is gonna apply. And it'll also do that when you take a look at the mobile view. You can set a different color scheme for your menu in case you would just like to spruce up your website and play around with different color schemes. And then for your overall header, if you wanna customize the display of your logo, when you click the theme settings icon, then you click logo. This is where you'll be able to upload your brand's logo image. And then under desktop logo width, you can adjust the size of that logo. So if you would like your logo to appear smaller, you'll be able to adjust it right here. This is also where you can add your website's favicon image. And once you're finished, those are a few different ways that you can customize the main menu display on your website. Next, I'll be showing you how to customize the footer bar menu on your website. I'm gonna click on that content page and then I'm gonna click to open the menus page. And here you can choose if you would like to open your existing footer menu or if you would like to create a new menu. I'll be creating a new menu. I've titled this a new footer menu and then I'll begin adding menu links to the footer bar menu. I'll essentially be adding similar links to what I added for the home page. However, I will not be doing a drop down for this footer menu. To keep it more minimal, I'll just be adding a link to the all collections page. The first link I'll be adding will be a link to the homepage of the website. And then I'm going to click this checkmark icon to officially add that link. And then I'm going to be adding a link to that all collections page. Your all collections page is the page that features each of your product categories that you've created. Then you can also choose to include additional links to more pages in your website, including if you have an FAQs or an about us page. And you can also include links to your store's policy pages. And last, I've added a link to the store's contact page. And once you're done, you want to be sure to save your footer menu. And next, I'll be showing you how to apply your footer menu. And then I'll also be showing you how to add your logo and your brand description to your footer bar menu. When you open your website, you want to scroll to the very bottom. Then for the footer section, here under footer, I'm going to click add block. And this is where I'll be inserting a menu block. When you click on that menu block, over here next to menu is where you can apply a brand new footer menu. So I'm going to click replace. 
and I'll be linking that brand new footer menu that I just created. You can choose if you would like to keep the heading title for the footer menu. I'll just be removing this text. And that's how to link your footer menu on your website's footer bar. To add your logo to the footer, I'm gonna hover over this menu block and I'm gonna click this plus icon. And then I'm gonna select image to insert an image block. This is where you can choose to upload your website's logo or any kind of brand photo that you would like to add to your footer. And once you add your logo, next to image width, you'll be able to adjust the size of the logo for in case you would like to increase it. And that is how you can add your logo to your footer bar menu. Then last, I'll be adding a mini brand description to the footer bar. To do that, I'm gonna hover over this image block and then I'm gonna click the plus icon again. And here I'll be inserting a text box. And this is where you can paste in a mini overview of your brand or a mini about us text. So I'll be pasting in an example, mini brand description, and you'll have different editing options for the mini description that you added. You can select the text and you can choose if you would like to increase or reduce the size of the text. And you can also choose if you would like to put the text in bold, italic, and let's say you have an about us page and you would like to link this text to your about us page. You can select the text and then click this insert link icon. And this will allow you to be able to insert a link leading to another page within your website. You can also choose if you would like to insert bullet lists or numbered lists. I've titled the heading text about us. And once you're finished, that is a way that you can add a mini brand description to the footer bar menu of your Shopify store. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're gonna receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the sections and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles, so they do include other templates like logo templates, banner templates, and more. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.